This screencast is going to go through the process of uploading your photos from your iPhone camera roll to Google Photos. Uh, this is pretty much specifically for iPhone. If you're operating on an Android device, it's going to look a little differently uh, since you're already on kind of an Android Google operating system. Uh, so this is going to go over iPhones, uh, both using the Google Photos app as well as Gmail. Uh, so I have uh, a series of photos that I'd like to upload to Google Photos uh, right here in my camera roll. So what I'm actually going to do is use the app first. Uh, this is your first option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the uh, Google Photos app that I've already got installed. Uh, now you can see that uh, one really important thing is when you're looking at this, if you're downloading it for the first time, you probably don't want to back up your entire camera roll uh, to your school account. You just want to select individual photos. So you can see that backup and sync is off for my work account. Okay, so what I'm going to do instead is as I look at my photos from my camera roll, I can just go ahead and force tap all of these and select all of these photos that I wish and I can select backup and it's going to upload those files. And it is really as easy as that. It might take a little while to upload your photos, uh, but it's really that easy. Select your photos and select backup or upload. Uh, select backup, which will be uploading them to your Google Photos account. I just want to emphasize one last time that you are not selecting backup and sync or backup your camera roll. You don't want all of your photos uh, from your camera roll onto your school account, just the ones for this class. To emphasize that one more time, you do not want to be backing up your camera roll to your school Google Photos account. Okay, so uh, what do we do if you do not have uh, Google Photos installed? Well, what you can do instead is uh, let's email those to ourselves. So you got a couple options to do that. The first one, uh, go ahead and select the photos you want, just like so. Right here in the bottom left-hand corner is this share icon. So I'm going to select that and select a Gmail. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and add myself, uh, lriley at guhsd.net, uh, to this email. So you would add your ID number at guhsd.net and send it just like so. Now, one last thing, what if you don't have Google uh, Mail, Gmail installed on your phone either? Well, I can hit send and I'll show you a quick hack. You can actually use the Messages app and just type in your school email address and it will send your emails that way as well. So that's kind of three options. You can uh, use the Google Photos app, you can use Gmail, or you can use the Messages app uh, to send to your Gmail account. Now let's go take a look at our Gmail account and see how this all plays out on our Chromebooks. So now that we're on a computer, whether it be a Chromebook or maybe a personal computer we're logged into, but most likely our Chromebook, let's uh, go ahead and finish this process. You can see that this email was sent to me and uh, I can hover over all the, the various photos that I emailed to myself. Uh, you might have to break it up into a few different, depending on number of photos, uh, but you can see I've got these seven attachments. And when I hover over each of these thumbnails, I get three options. One to download, one to add to Drive, and the last one to save a copy to Google Photos. So let's just go and select that uh, last option for all of these images. Okay, give you a little settings, kind of permissions, that kind of stuff. And from that point, I can just go down the line and add my photos. Now, it is worth noting that if you have Google Photos in the app installed on your phone and you selected to upload via the Google Photos app, uh, you can skip the email process. Uh, you don't need to go through this. Uh, you can just open up Google Photos on your Chromebook and your photos will already be living there if you uploaded via the app. So now when I dive over to Google Photos, I'm going to hit refresh, and there they all are. Okay, 
So then, of course, the last uh, step is to go into albums. I'm going to create a new album. And for the purposes of this video, I'll just call it sample. Uh, and I'm going to add photos. Now, if we're selecting from a, an SD card, we would select up here. But since ours are already in Google Photos, I can just go ahead and select all of these. Of course, I can also select, hold down Shift and click on the last one. And there they are. And there we go. We've got all of our photos into a photo album, uh, photos that I took on my phone that are now in Google Photos and ready for me to turn in using the share button. Thanks for watching this and hopefully it helps.